First, locate studs to attach the ladder to. Be sure to check both sides of the wall for wiring and plumbing so you don't hit them when drilling. The first and third shelves will be the shelves that attach the ladder to the wall. Since most houses, including mine, have studs 16 inches apart, I'm making my wall attachment boards 20 inches wide to allow a little extra to prevent splitting. Cut two 20 inch boards. These boards will be the ones that will have screws through them attaching it to the wall. Drill holes in both boards two inches from each end for the screws going into the wall studs. Also, drill holes in both boards four inches from each end for the screws to attach the wall boards to the boards used to hold the ladder off the wall. Cut four 11 and a half inch long boards. These standoff boards will attach the ladder to the wall boards. Drill holes one and three quarter inches from one end of each standoff for the screws used to attach the standoff to the ladder. Align the opposite end of the standoff boards with the inner holes on the wall boards and attach with screws. Securely attach the wall boards to the wall at 30 and 66 inches high. The second and fourth shelves will extend out from the ladder. For the second and fourth steps, we'll cut four 2x4s 19 inches long. Pre-drill holes 2 inches from each end. Screw the boards to the poles at 48 and 84 inches from the bottom of the poles to the top of the rungs. Place rungs on both sides of the ladder. If you don't have a tall ladder, it may be easier for you to skip ahead to make and install the top shelf now while the ladder is laying on the ground. Hold the ladder in place and screw the ladder to the standoffs. If you're installing the ladder over carpet, be sure to press down on the ladder to compress the carpet while you attach the standoffs. So far, this is what your ladder should look like. Next, we'll attach the platforms. For the first and third shelves, cut two pieces of plywood 13 inches by 21 inches. Then cut a notch in both front quarters to leave a 9.5 inch platform in the rear and 13 and a half inches between the poles. Drill holes at four and a half inches from the sides and seven inches from the rear. Put the shelves in place and attach with two screws. For the second and fourth shelves, cut two pieces of plywood 16 inches by 21 inches. Then cut a notch to leave an 11 inch platform in the front and 13 and a half inches between the poles. On the second shelf, cut the corners off of the outside corners to prevent injuries. Then drill two holes one inch from the back 
and two inches from the side. And you'll also need to drill two holes six inches from the back and six inches from this side. Put the shelves in place and attach with four screws. This is what the ladder looks like with all the steps installed. Now all you need is a few cat treats to wake your cat up. Wake up for the cat treats. Time to test the ladder. <laughs> 